Hey, it's Craig, WJ6F. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to program the Baofeng Tech UV25X4, and we'll get started right after this. First thing we're gonna do is a simplex frequency, and we're gonna use the front end and the microphone. First thing you wanna do is turn on the power. Once you have the power on, you're gonna use this top gray button to switch from memory to VFO. If you're in memory, you'll see a little number to the right here, like you see number zero. So go to VFO, enter your frequency. I'm gonna be doing two meters national calling frequency, which is 146520. Once you're done with that, you're gonna go into the menu. The way you go into the menu, top left button on the mic. The two center buttons allow you to move up and down the menu, and the top right button, you can exit the menu. Enter the menu. The first one you're gonna to go to is menu item 11. You wanna make sure that your receive CTCSS is off. Then you're gonna go up to menu 13, and you're gonna make sure the transmit side is off. After that, you're gonna to go to menu item number 46, and this is the shift positive, negative, or off, and you're going to want to make sure it's off. After that, go to menu item number 47 and make sure that the offset frequency has been set to zeros. After that, you're going to decide where you want to store this. You can go to menu item 44, hit menu to drop it down. In this case, we're going to do two menu item number two. Once you hit the menu item, the menu button again, you'll see CH dash appear in front of this number. And that's how you know it's been saved. Exit the menu. Switch out of VFO and back into memory. And as you can see on menu item, menu, memory item number two, 146.520 is saved. Next one we're gonna do is a repeater. A lot of these steps are gonna be the same as the simplex. You make sure your power's on. Again, switch to VFO from memory. Enter the frequency you want. In this case, we want 147. 060. Once your frequency's entered, again, go back into menu. In this case, we're going to go to number 13. And we're going to pick the transmit CTCSS that we need. And that's going to be 100. You can press and hold the up and down arrows to get you there quicker. Again, hit menu to lock it in. Now we're going to go to menu item number 46. And we want a positive. Once you got that set, then go to menu number 47. Hit menu, it's gonna drop you down and then input the frequency you want. Lock it in. And then again, we're gonna to go to menu item number 44 to choose where you wanna save this. In this case, we're gonna use menu item number eight. Lock it in. Again, you see the CH dash appear. Exit. Go back to VFO. And you can see we're in there. Okay, now let's see if we got this working. WJ6F testing. Well, we hit the repeater. We got a answer back from it, so to speak. The easiest and quickest way to program the UV25X4 is by using Chirp. If you don't already have it downloaded, go to chirp.danplanet.com, click on Chirp Home, download, and choose your operating system, be it Windows, Apple, or Linux. In this case, we're using Windows. Click on the daily installer, and then follow the prompts for downloading it to your computer and installing it. 
Once you have it installed, go ahead and open the program, click on radio, download from radio, choose the proper port you need, choose the vendor of the radio you're using, in this case it's BTEC, choose the model number, and we're doing a UV25X4, click OK, go through these little warnings, and it'll start downloading. When it comes back up, it'll open up to the memories. Now it puts these, I guess, test ones that they use. If you don't want those, just click on each one and you can delete them. And then once you have that done, go ahead and start installing the frequencies you want. We're gonna start with the national calling frequencies for two meter, 220 and 440. First thing you go to is the frequency. In this case, it's 146520. Enter a tag for it. And since this is simplex, we don't have to worry about any of the tones. Make sure it's on high power. Go to your next one. This is for 220, so we're gonna use 223. Dot 500. And then we'll go down to 440. And then for some of your more normal frequencies, using repeaters, like we're going to use Clara. Go down here to 15. Frequency you want is 145.220. Again, the tag. This one we do have a tone. And we need 103.5. It's already put in the offset as well as the direction. Another one. And again, you have to have tone for this one as well. This one's just gonna be 100. And again, you can see it added the direction, which is a positive on this one as well as the offset. Quick way to upload repeaters to your program is go to radio, import from data source. In this case, I'm gonna use repeater book and I'm gonna do the political query. Choose the state you're in, California. My county is Orange County. And then the band I wanna do is one and a quarter meters. It gives you this stupid little warning now it's saying it wants to start them off at putting inputting them in memory slot number two. Well, that's obviously going to overwrite what I already have in here. I want to start it at 17. So just go down here to the bottom, plus 10. And then just click the one until you get the top one to say 17. Once you get it all in, and you can change pretty much anything in here once you get it all input. Hit OK, and it automatically input everything with all the needed information. Once you have the repeaters in there that you want, go to Settings, and this is where you can change everything from the colors on the screen to your squelch, your timeout timer. In this case, we want 30 minutes, or correction, two minutes. Auto power off, 30 minutes. Now you can choose how you want it to display on A, B, C, and D. 
So let's say I want the name on A and C. You can choose what language you want. If you want English or Chinese. Now, do you want channel display sync? I do, I want A and B. This way channel A will show the name, B will show the frequency, C same, and D same thing. Once you have everything in here that you like, you can go to the next one. And we'll change this to WJ6F. And you can only put in about eight characters. Once you have everything in your settings all set and the frequencies you want input, go back to radio, upload to radio. And again, it'll ask you the port. Click OK. Go through the warnings again, and it'll upload to the radio. Okay, now that we've got everything uploaded to the radio, I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I'm going to be using the Nagoya TB320 Alpha, the tri-band antenna from Baofeng Tech. Now that we've got everything programmed in, you can see the WJ6F shows up down here at the bottom. And when we did the sync between the A and B and C and D, now you have the repeater name as well as its frequency. And when you change the channel, it will change both of them accordingly. Now let's see if we can't make a quick contact. Anyone available for a quick signal report? WJ6F. We definitely made contact with the repeater, and it doesn't look like there's anyone out there. WJ6F, clear. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, and don't forget to click on the bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a video. If you'd like to help support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the description area. And while you're here, check out one of these other videos. And thanks again for watching.